Okay. There we go. Oops. Um. Should I? Oh yeah, I should. Tomorrow. Wait, what is tomorrow? Sunday. Um, yeah, probably not. I just want to take Sunday off. I stream today because, yeah, I just want to take Sunday off. Then Monday I'll play, then Tuesday I'll take off. Because, yeah, I don't know. Just want to freaking relax tomorrow. Um, what is it? Oh, yeah. Oh great, my glasses. There we go. I freaking, I hate that with the arm like it's stuck. Oops, I almost dropped my phone. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, the buttons? No. Um. Yeah, I think. If there's nothing better to do, we could go foraging for ingredients. And would that be because of games? Like, when I. Uh. When my phone, like, flies out of my hand, I usually catch it. What am I doing? Um, I'll do this. Where? Oh, yeah, it's here. Oh. Um, frickin I loaded before the grass loaded in. <laughs> that was weird. Carver has been taking many walks on these the are human too. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar. Uh, the w I don't know what that is. We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted. Impeccable time. Uh, that deer, I guess, and the wolf. Not the wolf, the crane. Soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. Wait, that mechanism, is that? 
Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, never mind. She seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yeah, I think I Excellent. should do that. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means Just to kind of sleep the, 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 the day away the tomorrow. I must insist that you I don't know, I'm really tired. Oh, Zhang Li, Huta told us to tell you something. She said it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. When she says performance, she must be in the Lantern Right Music Festival. As for the banquet, uh... She didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director who my best wishes for the performance. Freaking pigs. As for the banquet, hmm, since the Director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yay! Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot suit is ready. <laughs> Thank you. I will examine it right away. Hmm. The appearance is exquisite. And the aroma rich and intense. Can they think everything for them? All possible indeed. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty handed. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Um, what's that? Oh, I meant, uh, for this. There's not a... Oh, there's one here. But I'll probably play this for two hours. Oh, I need to do the TGI thing. Oh, uh, that... Yeah, I think it's called TGI Car Game, or whatever. Yeah, that's so weird that it load in before most other things. Oh, nothing.
I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hitao, and this is a little something called... I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky, lighting up the world below. And when the crowds all hear my voice, they'll meet the spirit of rock and roll. Let's go! Hey, you butterfly, you too, buzzing by, guiding your way to the afterlife, opening the path without a fright. Oh, I'll light the fire, watch it blaze across the universe. I'll spit my rhymes, watch your step, or you'll get burned. Hey! Yeah! Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interested? I don't know. I think I'm gonna watch that. again. That silly little uh, concert thing, I guess. May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. God damn it, I keep forgetting to do that. To level her up. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liu Ai Harbor to display its magnificence for all. Okay. Oh, it's to be continued. There's another story too. Damn. Oops, wrong thing. Yeah, there's a third story. Oh, one, two, then epilogue. So, how long is this? Um, what? What? Where's the... 
Oh, we could have played. Okay. So what's that? Eight more days. Right? Is that eight or six? Well, I have another week anyways. So I think I'll probably... I said I was swimming for the wives, but I'll probably do one just because I'm so tired for some reason. And it's like I can freaking only do this for an hour because it loads so fast. Like on the PS4, I probably would want to play this for two hours. But I could. Yeah, I think he could do that. I'll get as much things done in uh, only one hour. Run away. Oh. Um. Shoot. Look at you with a Santa Claus beard. Waited to the following night, oh nine. Is that oh nine or nineteen? I think it's nineteen. Mom. So that's how it is. Thanks for the suggestions, Mr. Zhongli. I have them all noted down. I've long heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhongli. But I never knew that you were well versed in the art of cooking, too. It is truly an honor to make your acquaintance. No need for formalities. I, too, feel humbled to be in the company of such talented young people. There are many things I could learn from you. Oh, you flatter us. Um, if it's possible, may I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? Exorcism? I can't say I'm an expert in the field, but if you don't mind, 
We could start by discussing... Oh, there's so many people here. Oh, we knew it was that who Tao invited Chang Li over. I never thought we'd be meeting so many old friends. <laughs> Happy Lantern Ride, everyone! Likewise. Please take a seat. Happy Lantern Ride! Are you having fun? Me too. I've seen Shin Yan perform before, but this is the first time I've watched something like this. I heard that the audience loved it too, and she's been receiving quite a lot of performance invitations lately. She's more busy than ever, and Yoon Jin's gonna help her. Yep, and they asked us to pass on their season's greetings to everyone. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. The performance was spectacular indeed. However, it gave Shang Ling a huge burst of inspiration, which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. Us? Did Shang Ling ask you to try out her dishes too? <laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yoon with eating my share too. Hold on, Xiang Ling came up with a new recipe? <gasps> Let Paimon try! See, someone here knows how to encourage people. Thanks, Paimon. Oh, and I have to thank Mr. Zhang Li too. He gave me lots of useful pointers that really drove it home for me. Oh, so that's what you were talking about before we arrived. Yes. Since we'll be dining together, the topic of our conversation naturally revolved around... Oh, yeah, see that later. Actually, the spices... ...and spices are comparable to a melody dancing on the table. My suggestions were nothing more than the icing on the cake. Oh, the two of you always deliver. <laughs> Now I'm getting embarrassed. Anyway, I'll get everyone to have a taste after I've adjusted the recipe based on Mr. Zhang Li's advice. Hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. How about I sample the dishes next time? Speaking of eating, I don't feel like we're missing someone. Oh, Huta was the one who invited us, but she's not here. And oh, where's Guoba? Oh, the Guoba volunteered to help Dad at the restaurant. You know, oh, sure, I should drink some water. I just moved it. I probably wouldn't have had the time to accept Hu Tao's invitation. As for Hu Tao... The director went to collect a guest. She asked me to stay here and host you for the time being. Seems like it's almost time. Huh? Hu Tao went to fetch someone in person? Oh, that must mean they are super important. Could it be... Kuching? Ningguan? Or... <gasps> Captain Beto? She didn't clarify. And as her subordinate, I couldn't just pry into the details, could I? Ta-da! We're here! Oh, we're not late to the party, right? Right? Good thing the Conqueror of Demons and I are both as swift as the wind. And whoosh, we made it just in time. Oh. I see. So the important guest is the Conqueror of Demons. I've been looking forward to meeting you. The Director didn't mention anything when she invited us. What a pleasant surprise. Gathered here with us tonight are not only young and accomplished individuals, but also the protector of Leo's peace, Adeptus Alatus. To convene here with all of you is indeed a great honor. Uh... It's almost lantern right. Yet you took all the trouble coming here. <sighs> the director has a way of making it difficult to decline. Rex Lapis, may I ask what troubles you? The director asked me to buy sesame oil in preparation for the celebrations. Huh. 
Then why would you come all the way to Wangshu Inn? I had a pleasant chat with Chef Yen Xiao and received some spices from him. And, see? Here's some matsutake and a portion of ham. What about the sesame oil? Hmm. It's a shame. I couldn't find the kind the director was looking for. I'm sure you're exaggerating, Zhang. <clears throat> Sir. Uh, there he goes again. Enough with the pleasantries. Go let our guests take a seat. Everyone here today is well known in their own field and has probably heard about one another to some extent. Some of us are even old acquaintances, so there's no need to be this formal. I heard that the Conqueror of Demons and the Traveler are pretty close, no? Great, you two sit together. You should take a seat too, Director. Oh, finally remembered me? When we arrived just now, the host at Shinyue Kiosk told me our dishes are almost ready. Perfect timing. Let's not wait any longer and ask them to bring up the food. Paimon would have never guessed the person who Tao went to fetch was Xiao. Oh, that's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. You know Xiao Chu? Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. I've always looked up to him. You might not know this, Paimon, but we exorcists have worked in close collaboration there with the Conqueror go. of Demons for yeah. many generations. This cutscene is so long. And Jesus and Christ. Hard to imagine that thanks to I don't know Hitao, if you like it. I finally mm -hmm. got the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. Likewise. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. Chang Yun has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. I remember you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. Ahem. Uh, we know each other too. He helped dry my dishes during the Masterful Chef's cook-off. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have the chance to meet again. Happy Lantern right. No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I'm Sing Cho, Shangling and Chang Yun's friend. The pleasure is all mine. I guess. Whoa, everyone's getting all formal and polite all of a sudden. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what she should say anymore. Uh, Adeptus Xiao, mighty conqueror of demons. Please accept Paimon's greetings to Blazed Happy Lantern Rite. Paimon tried very hard to look for a fancy word, okay? Don't be too much <laughs> There's no need to be so polite. Oh, what is on? You're right. This was meant to be a it's her name. between friends after all. Too much formality kills the atmosphere. No. I didn't plan this gathering only for everyone to walk on eggshells. Hiya. What's your true intention then? A little get together between friends, sipping the finest tea and watching lanterns float into the sky. Bidding farewell to the past and embracing the present with joy. And that is something our country is testing a new sprawless land. Indeed. Exceptional acting okay. skills. That doesn't me, make I'm sense. I'm here to have fun and treat everyone to something good. We all worked really hard this year, whether traveling or guiding. Cooking, helping with the family business, exercising evil spirits, or conquering demons. And of course, our consultant, who's been helping out at the parlor every now and then. Everyone has done some pretty amazing things. As the one who brought everyone together, it goes without saying that I'm the one most deserving of praise. Huh? Sounds kind of self-important, but... Paimon thinks it's pretty amazing that she managed to talk Xiao into coming. He rarely ever enters the Yeah, I'll probably, um. You know, man. It wasn't oh, as complicated crap. as you think. Freaking, I didn't go to the washroom. Shoot. Okay.
Okay, gotcha. Thanks, boss lady. Uh, it's not boss lady, just boss. <sighs> See how long this is going to go on for? <laughs> Disturb the peace. Sorry, but you wouldn't show up if so I So it's know, already it? 30 minutes. I it probably went the on for like five or ten, probably. Well, feels like ten. <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's antics. <laughs> Did the I don't of demons know. agree to come so that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? There might be other reasons. <laughs> Smart guess. <laughs> Christ, you talk too much. It gets pretty boring from here on. I talked about the funeral parlor's past relationships with the guardian yakshas. You know, just to be sociable. In the time of the Archon War, disputes were frequent, and disaster overtook the land. Humans couldn't escape from the torment of the plague, okay. nor could they escape death. The Adepti vanquished the demons, the Millilith fought valiantly, so, and the Shung oh, was responsible for purifying the diseased and sending off the spirits of the dead. That is how the border between life and death was maintained during the war. And it effectively prevented further incidents from happening. That's right. One point for the consultant. But despite our deep-rooted connection, it still took me quite a while to actually convince him. You know him pretty well, huh? This matter is out of my control, so I need to be cautious. True, but I've kept that in mind, too. That's why everyone here today is in one way or another acquainted with elemental power. Besides, it'll only be for a short while as we dine together. There won't be any lasting consequences. But I didn't expect there to be so many people. There's no need to worry, Conqueror of Demons. We're not feeling anything unusual so far. Our young exorcist over here is protected by his pure yang energy, so he's probably the most resilient. That, that's not the same. And did you just toss your carrots into my bowl? Hey, don't look away! Huh? What? I'm siding with Chong Yoon. I saw that too. You're lucky Guoba isn't here today. He hates seeing people being picky with their food. If he'd seen that, he'd definitely make you eat all your carrots. Huh? Guoba would do that? Is he that uncompromising? Hmm. But now that I think of it, Shangling told me that Guoba used to be the stove god. <laughs> it sounds like you've heard the rumors.
I'm doing fine. Not long ago, before Lantern Rite, I met an old friend. Thanks to his help, things have been a lot more stable than before. Wait, what? <sighs> Seeds of story brought by the wind. And cultivated by time. Uh, did Paima just unconsciously complete that thing? That voice. Could it be? Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, there's someone knocking at the door. Oh, don't just sit there, Zhongli. Go welcome our guest in. No such need. I'm coming in. <laughs> you finally let me in. Hello, hello. No matter if we've met before or not, this moment marks a brand new encounter. Old friends and new, happy lantern right. Oh, it's the tone deaf bard. <gasps> oh, <laughs> he seems to carry a valiant breeze wherever he goes. It looks like we're gonna be friends. Fate has brought us together, so come on, take a seat and be my guest. Help yourself. Oh, I'll ask them for another set of cutlery. Mm hmm. This young lady here is as bright as a fresh bouquet of flowers in the morning's rising sun. She no doubt is the one with the most authority here. Whoa, these dishes look amazing. Is it really okay for me to join in? <laughs> All right, I'm digging in. Huh, it's you. Oh, isn't this Genu? Hmm? Genu? Uh, yep. Now that I've taken a closer look, you're a fan of Genu's works, aren't you? I met Sing Cho at a light novel convention. Ah, oh, how I wish we'd met sooner. I never expected that there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Genu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals are way more impressive. <clears throat> Could this new guest be Master Singcho's friend? Yeah! <laughs> Xiao, you remember me too, right? We had a chat not long ago. Yes, yes. Monsters become more active than usual as we get closer to Lantern Rite. I was patrolling Dihua Marsh a few days ago, when I happened to run into this... this... Hmm? You've already forgotten? I'm a bard! Remember? And bards go around singing wherever they like. Oh, right. And this bard was performing in Dihua Marsh. It was a moving melody. And it made me feel relaxed and at ease. I couldn't help but stay and listen. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. I understand now, too. I'm Zhongli, currently working at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. It's a pleasure to meet you, new friend. Mm-hmm, and I'm his boss. Oh, and if there's anything unsatisfactory, let me know anytime. That's very considerate of you. Oh? Hmm, no wonder. Only a boss as savvy and reliable as you would be able to hire such an impressive consultant. <laughs> Oh, you're too nice, Venti. Not to brag, but our consultant truly is impressive. His knowledge extends across the stars in the land, and there's nothing throughout history that he doesn't know. From the sophisticated way he speaks, it's hard not to suspect that he could very well be an adeptus in disguise. <laughs> So you're an adeptus. Do you think it might be possible? I... Sorry. I'm only good at conquering demons. I'm afraid I don't have much knowledge in that matter. Uh, 
Really? But Paimon thinks you're super knowledgeable. Huh? Oh, oh! Right! Uh, Chow's a warrior. He doesn't come to the city very often, so it's, uh, pretty normal for him to not know anything. Yeah. Eh? Really? I've actually heard a few things about Mr. Zhongli before. The guests in the tavern talked about this refined and courteous man who, instead of having wine at Mondstadt's finest tavern, ordered a cup of hot tea with the most complex name. Now that you mention it, I seem to recall that there indeed is a musician like yourself in Mondstadt. I've heard that he's elegant and amiable, his works witty and vibrant. It's no overstatement to regard him as the best bard in Mondstadt. <laughs> now you're making me embarrassed. I would say that Mondstadt's poetry is a little run-of-the-mill sometimes. There's one I heard a while back that went, <clears throat> The old house is renewed, welcoming the spring breeze, awakening old memories. The meaning's there, but the word choices are unimaginative, and there's a distinct lack of literary flair. I think so, too. The composition needs a little jazzing up. If I were to give it a go, I'd make it... An old melon on a vine, a new flower that grows fine. Oh, good one! It feels unique and has a nice ring to it. You have great taste, Bendy. I was afraid about you. Let's shake hands. Of course, of course. Hmm. Uh. Hey, Shincho. Hmm? Mind lending me a few books when we get back? Pick out some well-written ones. I don't know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between those two. I don't think it's your fault. Chung Yun's right. It's not our fault. Oh, you have a point. But speaking of, why is the tone deaf bard here? Are you here to take part in Lantern Rite too? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, how could I possibly resist the temptation to come take a look? <laughs> or a listen. Getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, don't you think? As for the Fontaine friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. The Iridescence tour has finally been held successfully for once, so I had to congratulate him. Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinyue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Should I say that it's because I'm an expert in hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind? <laughs> Whenever Lantern Right comes around, Liyue Harbor becomes bustling with activity. People are all busy watching the lanterns and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly. And we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. This is no doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. To come together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. In a moment like this, I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea in lieu of wine. Uh... Well said, Mr. Zhongli. That was exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did I? We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt, but since Mr. Zhongli insists on drinking tea, I'll give a toast with tea too. Everyone, thanks for the treat. 
You're welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. May this year be better than the last. Considering that everyone may have other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. Uh... All of a sudden, they started proposing toast! Should... should we? Mm. What's with the urgency? Let's see. Okay, this has been going on for like sure. 30 minutes. Have you two finished eating? Jesus Christ. It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. Um, uh, Paima will come to you. So I think I'll do that. Like after this uh, cutscene, yeah? I'll um hurry up and okay, freaking finish okay, all the dailies and stop. Oh my god, fine. <laughs> Holy cow. Frickin' if that wasn't a plot dump, I don't know what is. Are you serious? Are you alright? Boys. What was the it's point of me fine. even leaving then? <laughs> if I would just it's enter that. another freaking cutscene. among the adepti who loved gatherings and idle chit chat. Sometimes they would call up a few others for a drink. Even I got dragged along to their gatherings many times. The adepti. Oh, well, I'll take a sip of water. And arrogant. Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated. But this time, that's not what I meant. Or perhaps I should say Jean, uh, Rex Lapis is really good at adapting to human life. You could say that he actually enjoys doing so. And that's something I might never be able to do. Hmm. That does sound like something you would say. No matter. I know my circumstances. Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels... strangely novel. Yes. The parlor director went out of her way with the invitation, so it was difficult to turn her down. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power. And I knew that you would be here. But I didn't expect the other guests to be... General Capesis always said that we should live in the present and enjoy every pleasant surprise. Perhaps that's what I should do with what I'm feeling now. But I think he meant designing clothes for those around him. The clothes were intricately designed, but inconvenient to wear. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste in front of him. Rex Lapis did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears now was also designed by General Capesis himself. I never saw him wear this during the war. I didn't expect him to start wearing it later. Oh, here you are! Um, I'm not intruding, right? You're not. What is it? A hotel saw that everyone's done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts. Paimon got so anxious that you weren't back yet that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. And to be honest, I was kind of worried too. 
You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yan Chao made. You're worrying too much. Why would I? Anyway, let's head back. Please wait! There's another reason why I came looking for you. Here, take these. I brought them for you. Almond tofu? Yup. Since the Masterful Chef's competition, you could say that Yan Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Xuan sometimes to discuss our cooking. I heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu. So I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. I'll be honest, before Hu Tao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guest she planned to invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. So I made a few servings of almond tofu for you guys in advance. Take them as a token of gratitude for your support. When I told Globa that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen and helping a lot too. Thank you for the trouble. There was no need to... I'll take them. Thank you. And Guoba too. You're welcome. Oh, the almond tofu I made probably tastes and feels a little different from the type Yen Xiao cooks. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should make. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Alrighty, we should head back now. We can't keep Paimon waiting. Okay. Um. There we go. That's weird. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll go back to Twitch. Um. There we go. Freaking up.
Freaking Christ. Yeah, nothing really happened. I actually paused the freaking stream. I was pressing like, I don't know, all the buttons for some reason. It's like, holy cow, I'm freaking out. Yeah, I don't know why I was freaking out so much. That was weird. Um, there we go. Um, no. Oh, shoot. Um... Add 
Electra Abyss. Um, thank you for completing. Add Astra. Ab so. There we go. Freaking Christ. Um, what is that? I think I'll, uh, yeah, and because right now I just don't want to do that. Um, Go into another cutscene and it'll be like 30 minutes long. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll go to the main menu and Aeon. I'll just say, um, thanks for all the watch and all the good stuff and goodbye. I am tomorrow. Do you want to play anything? Probably not. Um, I'll just figure out, um, off stream what to do for Plague Tale Innocence. But, um, yeah, I'll just. Freaking press sir button and and yes. <laughs>